I got this message saying that Julio Cesar and Robert Green will be representing their countries in their next international break. Not sure if they're qualifiers or if they're just friendlies, but they're both in there. But before they go, they had to concentrate on this game against Derby, where we need to try and keep the winning momentum to keep pushing towards the top of the table. So at the moment, we do lie in second. Not sure where Derby lie, but it was important that we kept the momentum going to get up there. But early on, we seemed to lose a bit of momentum as Salmon got the ball and just passed it over to Rushall to complete a sweaty goal and put Derby into the lead at 1-0. Bit of a show-off of a celebration, but nonetheless, it was Derby in front at 1-0. But we weren't going to just hold back. We were going to fight to try and keep ourselves in contention. Cranchar got the ball forward after a long ball f forward cut back in and just released his shot straight into the back of the net, making it one all. then telling everyone off in a Phil Brown, the sort of way as manager, but thankfully we're back in the game. But unfortunately, as it is with football, we weren't back in, in the game for long because some sort of luck came the way of Salmon and he managed to, in the end, head it home. Not sure what happened, but oh well. Then... Came forward again with Charlie Austin, who just unleashed a great shot after being put over by Barton. Hit the post, but thankfully went in. Derby then came forward again, won a free kick, but all they could do was hit the bar. Then, again, they came forward. Ball over the top, and here, it really did look like it was going to be taken away from us, but they hit the post again. They had some great chances to end this game. We then had a great chance at the end to finish it with Hoyler, but all he could do was hit it, get it blocked, and then save, save, and I just couldn't believe that one didn't go in. But it ended at two all at half time. Wasn't going to do us any favours in the league in terms of trying to push forward and get to first spot, but we did have an important game to come up next, and that was against Watford. Another team looking to push for promotion, looking for the title, maybe even just a playoffs at Watford though. But it was going to be third place versus sixth because we have moved down after that thrilling draw against Derby. Uh, early on, put an in intention, chip over the keeper, but all Austin could do was hit the post, which was extremely unlucky. Then, after some trickery of just trying to get past his defender, he just tried to lose him actually, Cesar came up with a big save. But then, from the corner, Deeney rose above everybody else and managed to get his head onto the ball and put it into the back of the net to make it 1-0. Then, we tried to come forward again. Austin with the chance, but all he could do was hit the post for a second time in the game. It didn't look like it was going to be his day. Right up until the point we won a corner, and we did exactly what they did, just headed it straight in the back of the net. This time, it was in the back of the net for Austin. Didn't have to worry about the post. And it was so good that his form had sort of turned around in, during this game. But then, a save stopped us getting forward again. And then, Austin had one last chance to try the game. And all he could do was hit the post. Which meant this game ended one all. But, that doesn't show that we can still win the league. Good news. Richard Dunn was back from his injury. Well, still on his way back, but he's back in the training sessions, which will give the team a massive boost after a few losses and not in greatest form lately. But up against Doncaster, but the players know that their main man of Richard Dunn is on his way back now.